Hi there. So I had a flight from Morzine a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was just a short little top to bottom, but I thought I'd put it on a video and just do a little bit of information about, about flying from Morzine. So Morzine's a ski resort. Um, it's also um, a mountain bike uh, place in the summer it's not really somewhere that play people go to hang glide or I've never heard of anyone going there to hang glide um, but paragliders fly from there quite often and um, so I was there I had a glider I thought I'd give it a go um, so found out what I could about it and um, and yeah had a flight there's two launches above Morzine town on the um, road to Avoria the first one, uh, I looked at both of them, the first one apparently gets the wind on it early in the day um, and so the paragliders go off there first thing in the day and then later on the wind swings round and it comes more onto the, onto the, the other one. Um, so yeah the first one looked pretty good actually for launching the hang glider off, it had a nice um, nice good steep hill uh, there were some trees to clear at the bottom but that was that would be no problem I mean the paragliders clear them and um, with a better glide angle on a, on a hang glider you'd soar well several several times the height of the tree over them there's no real issues there uh, the reason I didn't fly from that one on this day was just because the wind was at 90 degrees to it and even though even first thing in the morning it was at 90 degrees later in the day it was still completely off so I went to the I went to the one that the paragliders were flying from, which is the one which apparently comes on later in the day, and it was still a li the wind was a little bit off to the side there, but acceptable. Uh, there were plenty of paragliders going off of it, mostly the tandems taking tourists up. Uh, one guy doing a so uh, having a solo flight as well, so it looked fine. The only the only issue you've got there is that especially with the wind being a little bit off to the right, you're basically launching directly before it's straight at some trees. Now the paragliders were taking off, heading straight for the trees, turning left and going round them. So uh, my plan was to do the same. Um, actually, I think probably with a better glide angle on the hang glider, you might actually just clear them anyway, but especially if there had been a little bit of lift. But anyway, I went, went with the plan of... Um, heading straight for the trees on the takeoff and then turning to go around them. As you'll see from the video, it was a little bit more exciting than I expected. The The speed of the hang glider is quite a lot more than the paragliders. So I haven't watched the paragliders going off and sort of taking quite a long while before they, before they needed to do a turn. I suddenly found myself in the air and needing to crank quite a sudden turn to get around those trees. Um, another thing to say, this was the first flight I was having on back on the Puma for quite a few months actually. I can't remember the last time I flew it. The, the only I've only had a few flights over the winter, and those have been, all been on a, a Wheelswing Falcon tandem glider, so completely different glider. So in always when you take off, it takes a few few moments to tune your brain into the new glider. So yeah, when you'll see the video, you'll 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 realise that. I suddenly had to do a, a very a very tight turn to avoid those trees and then slightly over overdid it, overcorrected and um and then had to do a, a pretty hard turn the other way to avoid another tree that seemed to be coming up at me. Anyway, it proves that launch is clearly possible to do on a hang glider, although it also sort of seems like probably not quite so sensible and um probably if I'm there again I'll just go for the go for the higher launch because that looks a lot a lot more suitable for a hang glider. There's also two landing options, two landing fields. So one of them's sort of on the edge of town on the road out towards Prodans. Uh, according to the information board, this one might be better if it's um, very strongly thermic conditions. Apparently it's a bit smoother there. Um, but the problem with it is that it's on quite a steep slope. So the prevailing winds, in fact, almost always, if it's flyable conditions, there's going to be a valley wind, which is blowing up the valley. Um, this is sloping on the side of the valley. So that means that if you're going to land into wind, you're going to be landing cross slope which I guess doesn't matter for a paraglider but for a hang glider I just don't think that's possible it really is quite a steep slope I don't think landing cross slope it would be a good idea and um, I don't think it, it might not even be possible um, if I was going to land in that one I would actually ignore the wind direction and just go straight up the slope effectively do a fly on the wall landing on it which I think should be okay because it's it's 
quite a steep slope um but it would mean that you'd have you'd be having to land crosswind so to me the better option was also the one that all the paragliders were using that day um it's pretty close to the center of town actually it's um also on the valley side so there's a bit of a slope to it but it's a lot less of a slope than the other one and on the day i was doing it although the the wind was sort of um was blowing roughly along the valley it was also kind of a bit cross as well so i could actually land diagonally up the slope and pretty much straight into wind so it's not a bad landing field it's a sort of reasonable size but it it's got a drag lift on one side which you've got to fly over there's the gondola lift if you overshoot um although that's a fair way off so you'd have to overshoot quite badly to to reach that um there are also some snow cannons cluttering it up as well i don't know if they'd be there in the summer or not so it's okay as landing fields go um but it's certainly not the best i've ever seen I'll put the lat long coordinates for both the takeoffs and both the landings in the description uh, down below. Uh, but now let's get on and have a look at the flight then. So we're on that uh, second launch I described, the one called the low launch. The wind's quite light, a little bit off to the right, so it takes a really good run. Getting the air fairly well though, heading straight towards those trees as expected, have to do a right turn. But here's where I just put slightly too much in and now this second tree is sort of coming up and I'm having to steer back the other way. Now I've got it all sorted out. Those mini buses uh, coming up are actually paragliders uh, coming up. They were beeping and cheering at me so I gave them a little wave and a little bit of a swoop. <coughs> um, yeah, it wasn't... Um, it wasn't a thermic day you can see it's over it there's a sort of high level milky cloud so there's no real chance to get any thermals none of the paragliders were off route to turn really it was clearly just going to be a top to bottom from the start so yeah sort of amused myself with a little bit of um a little bit of flying a bit faster chuck the glider around a little bit just to, um, sort of gentle not even not even fully a wing over really just having a bit of fun. And back the other way. And then I think really probably may as well skip forwards a bit here um, because as I say there was no real activity now until the landing. So yeah, I basically just flew backwards and forwards a bit. I didn't really know because it's the first first time flying here, so I wasn't really sure how much height I'd need to get across the town. And it's always a bit daunting flying over houses, so I went very early with loads of height. Came in with yeah quite a bit of height to burn off, so did some more sort of gentle, just really even not full wing overs, just just burning off a little bit of height over the landing field now. Um, so it's always good if you're coming into somewhere you don't know very well give yourself loads of height so you've got plenty of time to work out plan your approach exactly where you're going to go get yourself all set up so you can set up the landing so that you can see I'm just adjusting the VG making sure I've got that set right for, for landing so for this glider I set that to just a bit over a quarter VG kind of probably around a third is about is about right that gives you a good combination you get a you, you've got really good roll response like that um, it's not got too much glide performance so it comes down reasonably well um, but it still gives you a fairly crisp flare if you have more VG you get a nice crisp flare but because the glide performance is good you you've got a risk of overshooting there and mostly it just restrict your roll control too much so so yeah I, I like around a third for this glider it will be different for different gliders so now I'm tacking off height off to the just to the side of the landing field um, so yeah going along parallel to the landing field now this is this is into wind I like at this point where I'm getting closer to it I've 
always do my turns towards it, so I gave myself a little bit of space away from the field now, so that I can uh, unzip in my harness there. Uh, so that, yeah, giving myself a bit of space away from the field so that I can do this turn, turning towards it, keeping visual on it. I've realised I'm slightly high now, so I'm just zigzagging my way back a little bit further away again, giving myself space so that when I do my finals, to, well, turn sort of onto base leg and onto finals as one, as one turn, which I'm starting now. I've got my, I've given myself enough space that I can come in, cross into the field in the direction I wanted to set up. Um, you can see those snow cannons there, so going between those two, well, over them really, and over that drag, I'm over the drag lift now. Got another two snow cannons in front of me. Anything there, I let the nose pop slightly on that, that wasn't quite ideal, but now I can pull loads of speed on the uprights, skim the ground a little bit, give it a really good flare, and it was up slow, but slightly into wind, so actually it was quite an easy landing, but um, it was, yeah, as always, when you do a really nice landing, there's never anyone around to see it. Anyway, yeah, carrying the glider back. So yeah, that was that was my flight in Morzine. Um, as I say, Morzine's not renowned as a hang glider spot. Um, it's the, probably a couple of reasons for that. You can see certainly that low launch is a little bit tricky and I won't be rushing back to do that again. I think the high launch would have been fine actually. Uh, the the landing options, not brilliant, but they're far, they're, again, they're okay. Um, it's a really scenic place to fly. It looks like it would have good cross country and good good thermic potential on a good day. Um, it's nice and convenient to get the glider to launch. You can park uh, next to next to the launch. There's hardly any carrying. There's a road up there, and um, if you've got a lift ticket, you can go back on the lift and get your car at the end of the day as well. So that's that's a plus. Um, it's one of the closer ones to the UK as well. It's pretty much the first place you come to in the Alps if you're if you're driving out from the UK. Um, so it's got some things going for it. On the other hand, as I say, that that those slightly tricky launches and landings definitely count against it. Um, and also just the fact that it's it's actually quite close to quite a lot of other places as well. Like Annecy is only Annecy is probably only an hour or so's drive away from there, and gives you loads of really good flying options in that area. Um, though the Annecy launch itself I find too crowded nowadays for hang gliders there's, there's quite a lot of other good sites in that area around there Santillaire's a couple, an hour, uh, well, a couple of hours away from, from there by drive so you do have quite a lot of other options around um, I probably won't be rushing back there to go flying but if, I'm in the, if I happen to be there again and I've got a glider on the car and certainly if it's a thermic day I'd like to give it another go on a day when it's when it's nicely thermic. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that video. Uh, speak to you later.